legs, and when you're ready, you're going to lay all the way flat. Okay. Comfortable? Yes. Okay. So we're going to check her feet here. So just have you kind of flex like that. Good. So actually, Juliana has a mole on her foot. So I'm going to use uh, a tool called a dermatoscope. And this just allows us to get a closer exam. It's a little light here. Okay, this doesn't hurt. You're just going to feel me kind of up close and personal. So everything looks great with this mole. It goes with the normal skin lines. Okay. Good. Look at the front. Perfect. All right, so. I would check the floor pulse. Let's so check the coffee seal. Okay, this is the posterior, posterior tibial and the dorsalis pubis. You mind flexing your feet up for me? Yep. Push down. Calf refill is good. Skin turbulent lines and everything is good. You mind bringing your knees to your chest for me? Good. All right, have sit up again. Now um, you can lay back. Now I'm just going to take a peek at your neck, so can you face your head that way for me? Good, and face towards me. Good. I'm just going to take a peek at your contour and shape of your abdomen. Also looking. Can you lift up your right leg for me? And back down. And can you lift up your left leg? And back down. This time I'm going to add some resistance. Can you, can you push up on my hands? And push down on my hands. Good. And push up on my hands. And down on my hands. Good. And can you push up on my hands? And push down on my hands like a gas pedal. Good. And check your capillary refill. Good. Now I'm going to feel for your pulses. Toes are nice and strong. Um, now, can you take your right leg and move it out to the side? And back, good. And your left leg out to the side and back. Good. And can you move your feet around in a circle? Good. Now I'm going to have you sit back up. Good. Now I'm going to move down to your lower extremities and ask the same question. Do you have any pain? No, no pain. Do you have any changes in sensation, like numbness or tingling? No. Okay. And do you have any weakness? No. Do you have any limits in range of motion? No. Okay. So now as I'm inspect inspecting the lower extremities, I can see that um, her skin is uniform in color and it's intact, it's dry, um, it's warm to the touch. Uh, she has an even uh, distribution of hair across her lower extremities. There's presence of venous patterns on the tops of her feet. Um, the patient has good um, muscular structure. It's smooth and even. Okay, and now I'm going to go ahead and assess for um, edema starting at the knees down to the feet. Okay, the patient has no signs of edema. And now I'm going to go ahead and palpate for her posterior tibial pulse. Okay. okay, her posterior tibial pulse is a 2 plus bilaterally. And now I'll feel for the pedal pulse. your feet against my hands okay and now pull them towards you okay can you bend your knees up for me okay so the 
this shows that the patient has um, equal movement in both legs. There's no limits in range of motion, and her strength is graded as a 5. Okay, then I'm going to have you. Okay, so I'm going to do the Babinski on both sides. Okay, so that was a negative response, which is good what we're looking for on the other one. Okay, and that was a negative response also. Um, then close your eyes and let me know if it's sharp or dull. Okay. Sharp. Sharp. Dull. Dull. Sharp. Sharp. Dull. Dull. Okay, next thing I want you to do is I want you to gas pedal my hands. So um, push down on my hands. Okay, and then don't let me push down on your foot. All right, and that's good. While you're laying down, I want you to let, raise one leg. Okay, put it down. Raise the other leg. No difficulties doing that? No. Okay, so. Okay, I'm gonna take off your socks. Mm -hmm. Okay, perfect. So I'm gonna go ahead and inspect. So your legs are uniform in color, warm and dry to touch. I'm, gonna go ahead. I'm now gonna grab a cotton ball. Let me know if you uh, feel the touch, okay? Go ahead and close your eyes. Okay, light touch noted on both arms and legs. I'm now gonna go ahead and ask you to uh, put your finger to nose. Perfect, and then tap your hands on your knees like this. Okay. okay, I'm just gonna ask you to stand up for me really quick. So moving on with your neurological exam, Denise, I'm gonna have you do a few things. So if you could please scan for me. Sure, okay, I'm on. And uh, can you actually touch, uh, all the way, touch with uh, your foot? the shin of the opposite foot, up and down please, like that, and then the other side. Um, so the movement is straight, uh, no imbalances noted, no irregular deviation to the side. I'm gonna go ahead and assess now for um, your reflexes, Denise. So for that, I'm gonna grab this right here, um, and can I actually have you take a look straight at me? And I'm gonna have you uh, lift one leg, and then lift the other, and then push one leg out, to the, and then in, and under, or over. And then the other side as well, we're gonna go out, and over, perfect. I'm gonna have you turn or flip over to your other side. And then I'm gonna have you lift this leg back. There we go, and then the other, okay. You can turn back around, perfect. Um, and then I'm gonna have you um, sit again, so lay down. Uh, and then uh, I'm gonna go ahead and have you uh, pull your ankles outwards that way, like so, and then inside, perfect, and then open down, perfect, and then I'm gonna have you push on the gas pedal, and then push on my hands, perfect. So Timis has a full range of motion of the ankles and has five out of five for strength on the ankles. Um, while you're laying down, I'm gonna go ahead and check for the Babinski reflex, so I just kind of relax and then I'm gonna go ahead and check. Very good. Very good. So Babinski reflex is negative, uh, which is a normal findings for adults. Um, moving down to your capillary refill, I'm gonna check for your toes. Uh, it looks like she has some nail varnish on. Capillary flare to the toes is less than three seconds. Uh, and then I'm gonna look at your fingernails. Yeah, Timisa's joints, uh, uh, head to toe, uh, there is no uh, tenderness to uh, any of them. I'm gonna have you um, actually stand again. I'm gonna have you do is lift the right leg for me and then put your foot in wise. Is there any pain in your belly? No. So that means that the, uh, the uh, obturator sign is negative. So now moving down, like I said, to the knees. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and palpate for any swelling. 
um, to the patella. No flooding is noted to the uh, patella area. Uh, no deformities are noted. We're gonna start off with the vargus valgus uh, test. So I'm gonna have you bend your knee just a little, uh, about a 45 degree angle, and uh, I'm gonna push on your knee in the opposite ways, and then tell me if that hurts. Any pain? No. Perfect, so we're gonna go on the other side. Can you bend your other knee? I'm gonna push on that. Any pain? No. Perfect, so the, for her valgus and virus test uh, is negative. Uh, there is no pain or no tenderness. Now we're gonna do something called the drawer test, which I'm gonna have you bend your foot uh, like that uh, at about a 45. And then I'm gonna put some pressure right here and I'm gonna pull on your knee or okay. lower portion and then tell me if you have any pain, okay? No. Any pain? No, perfect. And then I'm gonna go ahead and uh, do the same on this side while sitting on your foot and pull. Pain? No. Okay, very good. So her drawer sign is negative. Now I'm gonna check for the Lachman test, which is, um, I'm gonna have you bend your knee at 45 degrees. Excuse me, and then we're gonna put your foot a little closer to your bottom, very good. And I'm gonna pull on it from this lower area and you tell me if that hurts, okay? No. No? Okay. And the other side. No. Anything? Okay. No. Okay. So the Lagman test is uh, negative. Um, Denise, um, this, uh, this concludes my head to toe assessment on you. Thank you for allowing me this opportunity. Thank you. And we'll see you in a later time. Okay, thank you. Thank you so much. Four toes and calf refills is also two out of three. And do you have a trick? It's warm. There are no signs of edema. Pedal, Pedal pulse is a two out of four. your bowel sounds. Okay. This is the right upper quadrant. Left upper quadrant. Left lower quadrant. Right lower quadrant. Bowel sounds are normal. When was your last bowel movement? Um, this morning. Everything was normal? Okay. Now if you'll go ahead and sit up for me. I'm going to check your reflexes. No lesions. All smooth. I'll check your legs too. Okay. Looks good. I'm just gonna take your socks off to check the pulses down here. Okay, so those are good. Now I'm just going to lift up your shirt if that's okay and inspect your abdomen. Yeah. Yep. And no pain when you do that. Okay, so can you push down like you're driving a car? Lift up. Okay, and then push up and push down. Awesome. And if you give me your arms. Knock, knock. Hi there. Hello. My name is Jennifer. I'm a student RN. I'm going to be doing a head to toe assessment on you today. So I'm just kind of, are you allergic to anything? No. Okay. Um, do you have any pain today? Uh, no. Okay. Okay. All right. I'm just gonna go ahead and get. This goes under your tongue. Temperatures ninety-eight point zero twenty right now. 
All right, Hannah, I've got some weird questions for you. Can you tell me um, where we are right now? Oh, we're at Centera College. Okay. Can you tell me what today's month is? It's April. And there's no tenting noted. Um, patient appears to be well hydrated. Palp um, lymph nodes are non-tender and non-palpable, which is a normal finding. Um, the patient mouth, lips, uh, lips are <clears throat> uniform and symmetrical. Um, they're not dry or cracked. Um, there's no drooping. Um, patient's mouth has pink and shiny moist buccal mucosa. Um, uvula is midline um, and rises um, appropriately. Um, soft and hard palate are midline. Okay, right. um, I'm going to listen to your heart in a minute here, but first let's let's ask some questions. Um, okay. Have you had any chest pain? Mm -mm. Shortness of breath? No. Any dizziness um, or um, um, cough with equal bilaterally? <clears throat> regular rate and rhythm. And now your capillary. Refill for your toe. Okay. Patient's capillary refill is brisk in less than three seconds. All right. Can you push real hard, Mikey? Yeah. Good. And now pull. Good. Patient strength is a five. All right. Fine. Yeah, and we don't have any abnormalities that I really have taken note of. Your blood pressure is just a little bit high, but that's kind of normal. Um, so at this point, our head to toe assessment is complete. So I'm just going to wash my hands, take off my gloves, wash my hands, and you are free to get dressed. Your okay. call bell is nearby if you need me, and the bed's in lowest position. Um, do you have any other questions for me? Need anything for me? Nope. All right. Thank you so much, Hannah. Thank you. You're welcome.